Will the sponsor yield? Yield. Could the sponsor tell me, has he ever heard the term crony capitalism? Mr. Norris? No, no, I never have. Mr. Campfield? I heard that term. Hmm. Well, pretty much, just in case you haven't heard what it is, it's when governments start using taxpayer dollars to gamble with. Of course, they're not paying the bill. It's other taxpayers are left paying the bill. Have you heard anything? Uh, I'm sure you've heard about the Tembesco loan packages we did a year or so ago, $200 million worth. You, I'm sure you've heard that. Do you recall that one? Yes, Mr. Campfield, yes. You're recognized, Mr. Campfield. Do you remember that, Tembesco loans? Mr. Norris? Yes, of course, I'm aware of the Tembesco program. I know that Senator Overby sponsored it. It's something that came through the General Assembly. I believe we all voted on it. Mr. Campfield? We all voted on it. We didn't all vote for it. Do you remember $200 million? You know how many jobs that's produced? Senator Norris? If you'd like me to research it, I will. Um, Senator Campfield, I'm, are you accusing me of something? Senator Campfield? No, I'm just saying it's, it produced about 200 jobs, which is a pretty healthy investment for 200 jobs. Now, here we are going out and spending another $70 million of other people's money on projects we're hoping for economic stimulus. Have you ever heard of the project called Solendra? Senator Campfield, just you can stand, you don't have to ask Senator Norris. Yes, we all have heard of Solendra. You're rec recognized, Senator Campfield. Well, when Republicans were in, not in power at the federal level, we all yelled and screamed, that's crony capitalism for us to be doing that sort of thing. We shouldn't be getting involved in private business, giving out straight cash money grants to private businesses because that's the wrong thing to do. That's not free market. That's, that's not what we should be getting involved in. We should let the free market handle that. Now when it's our turn at the trough, we're the ones doing the exact same thing. Now tax breaks, I can understand that, but when we're talking about straight cash giveaways, I don't see how this is any different, now that it's our turn at the trough, how this is any different than what we screamed was happening with Solyndra. I know how this vote is probably gonna go, but I just thought I would be remiss if I didn't point out that obviously we're not holding ourselves to any higher standard than we complained about a few months ago. We're on the bill. Okay, Senator Norris, you're recognized. I count to 10. <laughs> <laughs> I know the Senator from Knox County. <laughs> I know the Senator from Knox County. <laughs> And I know that uh, Knox County has not been the recipient of any state economic largesse. Now, what the administration intends to provide by this legislation is grants or loans for retrofitting, relocating equipment, purchasing equipment, building repairs and improvements, temporary office space, or other temporary equipment related to relocation or expansion, among other types of economic development assistance. I suppose some may differ about the importance of that when they live in counties that have probably received as much or more than any location in the state, but I ask for your support of House Bill 2344. Well, objects to the question? See none, we're on the board. Those third pass of House Bill 2344 on third and final consideration for the on the bell rings. Those opposed to vote no. Every member voted. Mr. Clerk, take the vote. Ayes 29, one nay. House Bill 2344, having received constitutional majority hereby clarify. Objects, the motion to reconsider goes to the table. Next bill, Mr. Clerk.